Hey everyone, it's Miss Michelle from the Southfield Public Library here to do another craft with you. I'm wearing my mask because I'm inside and I want to be safe and keep everyone else around me safe too. Today's craft is to make a frame, a picture frame for your refrigerator. Or you can put it inside of a different frame. This one I was planning to put on my refrigerator. I have put magnets on the back of it so that it'll stick on the fridge and I can put a picture inside of it. I can tape the picture to the very top of it and then hang it on my fridge. I really love rainbow colors. That's why I have all these rainbows all over it. And I'm going to show you how to do something like this today. I've got a couple of other samples I want to show you. This one I made with puzzle pieces for a puzzle that was never not together any longer. So you can use um, puzzle pieces. Make sure the puzzle is already not working, that you don't already missing pieces before you go and take them. I've got some square mosaic tiles. I've got some pony beads here that I glued on, some sequins, and some um, star beads over on this side. So you can do almost anything. You can use any kind of found object at home. It just has to be able to glue onto your cardboard. These are already made cardboard frames, but if you don't have one, I'm going to show you how to make one. What you need is an old cereal box or any kind of box, really. This one is from I'm sure you recognize the cereal. And I took the box apart and I cut off an edge of it and now I have a big flat box. The next thing to do is to take your scissors and cut off the edges like this. And just cut off the edges. And the really terrific thing about boxes is that there's these folds that you can use as a guide to help you cut straight. So once you've cut off all the edges, you're on to the next part. I've got one that I've already cut the edges off of. So I'm going to show you that. I cut the edges off of this one. The next step to do is to cut out the center. To cut out the center, I folded it in half very gently, not entirely so it would stay folded. And I cut an X right through the tippy top of it. I folded it this way and cut an X, and then I folded it the other way, and I cut an X, and then I had this big X. Then I was able to go and cut out like this, and like that, and all the way around. So now I'm cutting just around to make that outside, to make the frame, so I'll show you. You just keep cutting like this, in a big square, until you're just left with the inside open. To a square. Like that. And I have one more piece to cut off. So you can either glue stuff on this side. You can paint this side. And glue things on. You'll have to wait in between steps. Or you could use the back side. And just glue things on here. Which of course you could paint also. Or not. So that is how to make a frame at home with a cereal box. Next, once you have your frame all cut out and ready to go, here's mine. I've already got some magnets on the back of it. You can glue magnets on or you can use a refrigerator magnet to hang it on your fridge. The next thing to do is glue stuff on, which is always so much fun. And I've got lots of fun things. I've got some colored sequins. I've got some beads and googly eyeballs. I've got little sequins. I've got flat mosaic tiles and those, those melted beads that you can use. I've got pony beads. I've got letter beads. I've got buttons. I've got all kinds of stuff. Let me also show you some other things I've got. Remember I said I had a puzzle that we didn't have the, all the pieces to, so I've got puzzle pieces I can put on there. I've got some really cool feathers. Maybe you have colored feathers at home. You can glue that on too. I also have another box of found items. I've got pom-poms. I've got those flat foam pieces you can cut up in different ways. Here's one that's a little foot with some toes. That's kind of funny. Got all kinds of things. Oh, and I have seashells around here somewhere. 
So you can always glue some seashells on too. I did put a seashell on my rainbow one at the very bottom. You'll see there's a seashell right there. Seashell's a little difficult. You have to make sure you put lots of glue on it and hold it flat so it'll dry. I'm just using ordinary glue, white glue today. Oh, another thing I did was I found some flowers outside that are really beautiful and some grasses and you can add those to your frame as well. So I've got grasses and here's a hydrangea that was drying. So you can put that on your frame too. And you can give it away as a present. So I found my seashells. Here they are. There's some seashells and some other tiles and things in here. So this is a found art, found items art project. Here's some green and white pony bees. All kinds of stuff all over my desk. So the first thing we want to do is I have a little cup full of glue and a paintbrush. And I'm going to take my cup of glue and my paintbrush and I'm going to paint around the frame and just put a strip of glue because that way I can glue a bunch of stuff all at once. I don't have to worry about um, where the glue is and where the glue isn't. I've got this whole corner glued up from here to here, all the glue around. And it's that white glue, so it'll dry clear when it's done. And I'm gonna put some gemstones on. You can, you can lay out your project before you get started so you know what colors or what items you're gonna do, or you can just choose them randomly, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm just choosing some random things. All different colors. I'm going to put a couple of sequins on it. Let's see. I'm going to grab some pony beads. I just want to show you how these stick. It does take a little bit longer for them to dry. And you might have to squish them into your project to make sure that there's enough glue on them that they stay on there. So they'll go sideways. And they'll also go so that the um, you can see the open side. So you can do... Um, it either way and you can see mine are sticking pretty well on there and once you have that spot that you put the glue on pretty well covered you just add more glue and continue adding more items to your frame I'm going to add a little bit of glue and just to show you a different look I'm going to put some of the um, grasses and flowers that I picked yesterday on too because this is just for demonstration I'm, I don't think I'll keep this one I already have that rainbow one that I like so much so here's the grass it's really quite long I'm going to cut it shorter I've got some scissors here I'm going to cut it and stick it on and this is a, a time for experimenting just to see what you like, what looks pretty to you. It's all about what you enjoy. So this has some pollen in it. It's not sticking super well. I might have to go over it with some more glue. Yeah, that's better. So if it doesn't work the first time, keep experimenting and try another way. Here's my hydrangea flower. I'm going to take off a little bunch like that. And I'm going to put that on there too to see what happens. I think again I have to put some more glue on it. Trying different things to see what works. Make sure when you're using glue and found items that you double check with whoever owned it, the items that you're gluing, that they don't want them anymore. You don't want to take somebody's toy. That would not be nice. And also, make sure you set up a space where you can do it safely, like with a tablecloth, so that you're not making a big mess in the living room. Oh my goodness, mom would not be happy. Neither would dad or grandma. Here it is. 
my flowers are glued on the bottom and I can trim off at any time or change it. Wouldn't that be pretty with a picture of you from the summertime sitting behind it and your grandma could put that on her refrigerator or somebody you love? That would be really pretty. So there are lots of ways you can decorate it. You can just keep going to town with this. Anyway, that was today's project, how to make a picture frame to put on the refrigerator. I hope you enjoyed it and keep looking for our next craft project. See you soon. Take care.